Several persons have left the Seventh-day Adventist Church in recent years. Should I leave it too? What is it I've discovered that guides my decision to stay or to leave? Leaving Seventh-day Adventism my personal testimony. Stay tuned. Hello, dear listener. Welcome to this presentation coming to you from the home studio of Derek Gillespie. I hope you will learn something significant from this video. At the end, please don't forget to share so that others can benefit. Thank you, and God bless you. My name is Derek Gillespie, and uh, as advertised, this will be a special video entitled Leaving Seventh Day Adventism The Derek Gillespie Testimony. Now, for those of you who might not know me, let me share a video clip. Um, so you can not just see a still picture on screen, but you can see what I look like in real life. That was me in 2013, um, making a presentation at the Santa Cruz Seventh-day Adventist Church in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. And uh, since that time, I have discovered a lot of things which has made me see it necessary to come forward to give this testimony. Now, my testimony is one which both the Seventh-day Adventist as well as the anti-Seventh-day Adventist critic might find of some interest and I would advise you to stick around and listen to the end to get the full story. Of course, as I indicated, I have been a Seventh-day Adventist for quite a while now. I have been a Seventh-day Adventist for actually a baptized member of the church for over 40 years. I have been an avowed Seventh-day Adventist. I have defended the doctrines of the church since I can remember going over 30 years, 40 years. And of course, I have studied in depth not just the teachings of the Seventh-day Adventist church, but I have looked closely at the, the criticisms of those who were either former Seventh-day Adventists who have left the church, those who are non Seventh-day Adventists who have never been Adventists but have criticized the church. I have looked at the scholarly pieces of literature from variety of sources. I have read material from high and low. And it is time for me to give my testimony leaving Seventh-day Adventism. Should I stay? Should I leave? And on what grounds? Listen to my testimony. In recent times, I've gone on the internet and I have discovered a wide variety of videos, video clips, some from scholars, some from the normal lay person, but a wide variety of presentations showing more and more that my faith is under attack. My faith is rejected by many who were former believers like myself. My faith, the, 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 the literature of my faith 
the the religious literature is under attack the history of my church is under attack and more and more i'm seeing people on the internet who have declared that they were once walking in my faith and have turned their back on my religion because of things they have read things they have listened to things that they have personally experienced what am i talking about for those of you listening you may be thinking i'm speaking about the seventh day adventist church oh no certainly not i'm speaking about the christian religion surprise surprise this is a bigger issue that i had to confront and face compared to the less impactful and minor issue that of being a member of the seventh day adventist church oh yes my christian faith is under attack and let me give you a couple of examples of what i mean as to what i'm exposed to daily the bible that is believed to be the book the word of god has been under attack for thousands of years in fact it is now more so under attack under attack rather than in any other time conceivable in history everywhere you turn you find people finding fault with the bible questioning its origins questioning its source coming from god questioning the writers of the bible questioning the content of the bible i mean i've heard so many criticisms of the bible it would make your head spin if you are a believer in that book i have had people written books i've read books written by scholars declaring the bible to be filled with contradictions and falsehoods and unscientific facts and facts that cannot be proven historically facts that have never been verified historically i've listened to scholars such as i mean bart herman for instance is a leading scholar in the scriptures one of the leading scholars in the world at the moment bart herman an avowed atheist who was once a christian and has now given up faith in the bible and has spent several years dedicating his life in personal ministry to try to get people to believe that the bible is a false book is uninspired has questionable sources and beginnings and the christian faith is one that is riddled with contradictions and falsehoods and even its founder jesus christ was seen was seen by his own people the jews the hebrews as a misguided fanatic one who is blasphemous in his in his proclamations and his his teachings one who is believed by the people who were his predecessors the hebrews people of his own jewish religious background who saw him as misguided in fact they went as far as classing him as belzebub leader of demons that's the christian faith i'm talking about and so the question is why despite all of those challenges hundreds and hundreds of so-called criticisms in the bible hundreds and hundreds of so-called unverified historic events the leader of the christian religion being questioned and considered a fanatic and misguided the predecessors the pioneers of the bible religion rejected the founder of the christian faith jesus christ 
the teachings of Christianity, belief in Jesus being the divine son of God and there being a, a trinity in heaven and all of these things have been totally opposed and rejected by a wide variety of persons on the planet, even among religious people. So the question is, with all of that opposition, everywhere you turn, you see people who have turned back from being Christian and are now avowed atheists and have rejected the Bible and rejected the teachings of Christianity. Why is it that I have remained a Christian despite all of that opposition? For those who came to this video presentation, just to hear me speak about the subject of leaving Seventh-day Adventism. You have another thing coming. The question is, why have I not left Christianity itself, which has a continue to face? It has and continue to face fierce, mounting, and intense opposition. Why have I remained a Christian? And the answer is simple. I know in whom I have believed and I am persuaded by the evidence for myself. I have listened to the critics. I've looked at the opposition. I've been honest enough to be fair and to give them a fair hearing and at the end of the day I have proven for myself why the Christian faith cannot be ignored why the Christian faith has the answers to life why the Christian faith is one that I cannot in good conscience give up as being false. So let me lay that groundwork first and foremost. Despite Jesus had in, as it says in John chapter 6 and verse 66, many of his disciples, in fact it ended up being most of his disciples, his own religious predecessors, those who were of the same religious background that he was, turned their back from falling after him rejected his teachings and yet I still hold to the faith that Jesus Christ is the divine son of God one who came to save and is coming back very soon to set things right it is because I have looked at the compelling evidence which makes me unable to give up my faith and so let me now address the matter of the topic leaving Seventh-day Adventism it is no different I have met upon opposition I have met upon criticisms I have met upon opposing arguments of all varieties of all classes from the highest scholar to the lowest man on the street what is it that has kept me grounded and remain despite I look around me and I see people of different caliber leaving the church? Whether it be DM Conright in the time of LNG White, whether it be um, Dale Ratzloff who just died recently a few days ago, a few weeks ago. As a matter of fact, I'm making this presentation in April of 2024 and I think Dale Ratzloff, one of the most renowned former Seventh-day Adventist pastors who became an, an intense anti-SDA critic. Dale Ratzloff died just a few weeks or maybe a month or two before this presentation. So whether it be D.M. Conright, whether it be Dale Ratzloff, whether it be in Jamaica where I'm from, Clinton Baldwin, Dr. Clinton Baldwin, whether it be um, Elsie Fonda Lauriston, 
whether it be Dr. Andre Hill, and I could keep going on and on. Everywhere I look, I see people losing their faith in the Christian religion and losing their faith in the Seventh-day Adventist church. What is it that has kept me grounded? Why do I remain a Seventh-day Adventist? For the same reason that I remain a Christian despite all the opposition. I can't think for someone else. I can only think for myself. And after carefully looking at all the criticisms, carefully studying the Bible for myself, carefully studying the testimony of history, carefully studying the testimony of earth signs around me, carefully studying the evidence in archaeology, I can do no other but to continue to believe as I believe. Continue to believe as I believe. A Christian first and foremost and a Seventh-day Adventist secondly. And so you will notice that my testimony about leaving Seventh day Adventism is not following the road of others who have walked the Seventh day Adventist pathway and have lost their way. No. I am here speaking on the subject of why I will remain, why I will not leave the Seventh day Adventist church. For the same reason, I will not leave the Christian faith and I will remain a Christian. And that is why in recent times my ministry has become more active and intense. The more the criticisms come, the more the opposition come, is the deeper I study and the more I discover why my faith can stand the test. And that is why I have started ministries like what you're seeing on screen. Recently launched on Facebook, ministry entitled Debunking Former Seventh day Adventists, a website aimed at addressing the misrepresentations of and misconceptions about the Seventh day Adventist Church, especially the falsehood propagated by former Seventh day Adventists. That's the reason why I've also launched in recent times on YouTube a series of videos called Gillespie's Religious Straight Talk Online, where I tell it just like it is, unadulterated truth, not holding back to let people know why, despite all of the opposition, I will remain a Seventh-day Adventist and I will remain a Christian and I can't do other, any other, but to speak the straight truth. And you know, Many persons think that tradition and opinions and what is popular is the grounds on which you should determine if your Christian faith or your religious belief should be held on to. I know. The Bible. The final authority. You could be the Pope. You could be a priest. You could be in the biggest church on the planet. It matters not unless what you believe can stand the test of the Bible. The Bible is what gives all the answers. It is what has supplied me with the answers that has kept me grounded all these years despite all of the opposition. Every time I take up the Bible and go through its pages, I recognize more and more why, despite all the opposition, despite all the criticisms, why I will remain a Seventh-day Adventist. Because the things that are not seen, not understood, being misinterpreted, being rejected, because they are unpopular, those are the things 
that I have seen for myself in the Holy Word, the Holy Scriptures, that has kept me grounded. <laughs> Welcome to the brand new launch of the SDA Frontline, a channel dedicated to standing, defending, and advancing in the truth as presented by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. My name is Derek Gillespie and as a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church for over 40 years, it is my recognition that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is undergoing increasing and intensifying attacks from critics far and wide, from former Seventh-day Adventists, non-Seventh-day Adventists, and those who are in between. Prepare yourselves to hear short video presentations defending the truth as found in Adventism, often misunderstood, misrepresented, and misapplied by its critics. The SDA Frontline Stand, Defense, Defend, and Advance in the Truth. Welcome to the launch of the 2023 channel, the SDA Frontline Stand, Defend, Advance. That, of course, is an advertisement, an insert that I placed in this video to advertise my latest ministry that has been launched on YouTube. Feel free to visit that website and subscribe. And you will, along with all my other ministry outreach activities online, whether it be my Facebook ministry, whether it be my debunking former Seventh-day Adventist website, whether it be my YouTube channel, DDGILLIYT channel, you will continue to confront the truths that I have discovered, giving me all the reason to remain not just a Christian, but a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, despite all the opposition, Despite all of the criticism, despite all of the rejection, despite all of the unpopularity of my beliefs, I have discovered all the reasons why I can't do any other but to remain a Seventh-day Adventist. If you want to find out what are my reasons for staying, I mean, I could give you so many examples. The list is so long in terms of the criticisms and the opposition and the arguments from those who are anti seventh Adventists. But feel free to visit my web pages. Feel free to visit my YouTube channels and you will learn step by step why I will remain uh, Seventh-day Adventist. Examples such as attacks against the Seventh-day Adventist God, the Seventh-day Adventist Christ, attacks against the Seventh-day Adventist Gospel, attacks against the Seventh-day Adventist Three Angels Message, attacks against the Seventh-day Adventist Investigative Judgment Message, attacks against the Adventist um, lifestyle or living standards, attacks against the Adventist diet, 
and I could go on and on and on. There it is on screen. The reason why I will remain a Seventh-day Adventist. And if you want to find out why I hold on to any belief that Adventists are known for believing in and teaching, feel free to visit. Feel free to contact me, whether by Facebook or by YouTube, or you can contact me by email. You will discover and I'll share with you why I will remain a Seventh-day Adventist. Here I stand. I can do no other.